Artist Kia Carter lives in Stockton. With her paintbrush, she is highlighting injustices she's faced her whole life. Yeah, I worry about me and my whole family. And if people who are in control know that they'll be held accountable for their wrongdoings, then they won't do it. For Juneteenth, she teamed up with community leader Amir Othman to paint a Black Lives Matter mural, a work of art they hope brings about change. I feel really passionate about the whole Black Lives Matter movement, and I feel really passionate about the reform that needs to happen within the social system so that we can have equal rights. They put out the call to the community to bring this street painting to life. They got more than 80 volunteers. I want the loudest green we can find, the loudest yellow, because we want them to be bold. We want them to see it. We want it to be in your face. One of the young people who was helping decided, you know, suggested we add a fist at the end of it. <laughs> so we, we had enough time to do that, and that really added a lot to it, and I think that it reads great. What do you hope uh, is the message it leaves uh, to all of Stockton, to the entire community, when they see this message? I hope that it, it, it reminds them about the reform that needs to happen. And, and that, you know, it, it's kind of starting from the bottom and working your way up because, you know, as soon as black lives start to matter, then all lives will matter. After nearly four weeks of protests and calls for action, advocates say they are finally seeing some progress. I do feel like reform is being made and it's great, you know, and it's going to be a long process. Obviously, it's not going to happen overnight, but as long as we keep the momentum going, and, and that's important that it never like comes to a standstill. Young boys and girls who are leaving their house, going out to play, uh, what's the message that this needs to send to them? I hope that they're, they're brave and strong and, uh, and proud. Even though right now we live in a system that is inherently racist, that they should be proud of who they are, that they should be proud of where they come from. And Stockton, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. And organizers say that they were told they would have to wash off their mural after this weekend, as stated when they got their permit. They're hoping the city will allow them to keep it up much longer.